response. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, Lee. You gotta get me out of this. The judge has passed sentence. A week in jail, there's nothing I can I do. I cannot Scott. do a week right now. No, no, wait a second, Scott, wait a second. Down, no, no, listen, I've got to find Lucy and Serena before Cooper does something to him. happy I am to see you. Not nearly as happy as I am to see you. If you hadn't come along and knocked this gun out of Victor's hand, I don't know what would have happened. Well, just keep the gun on him while I call the police. Don't do that. Don't do what? Put down the phone. Julie. Now. This is crazy. You're not going to shoot me. Again, and I'll put one in the other leg, too. Let me see it. I can't believe she did it. It's time you realize she's been doing things just like that for quite some time. Let's hope the bullet went through. He needs medical attention. He's a paramedic. He can fix it. Why are you doing this? Julie. I'm not Julie. My name is Marcia Cooper. Are you sure? All right, thank you. Phone's off the hook. Kevin, what if we get to Jasmine Island and he's not there? We'll find him. One way or another, we'll find him. I have to know if Greg Cooper's birth certificate is accurate. Because I have to know if Victor is Greg Cooper's father. Uh, Judge Saunders, could I have a moment of your time, please? What is it? Because of extenuating circumstances, my client respectfully requests a delay of 24 hours before starting his sentence. Extenuating circumstances? He should have thought about those before he threw that bracelet into the river. John, this is important. I'm asking you this as a personal favor. This is for you, not for him. I owe you one. Baldwin? I'm giving you 24 hours. You show up even one minute late, and I'll hold you in contempt of court, and then it won't be a week in jail, it'll be a month. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Thank you, Your Honor. Don't thank me. Thank your lawyer. Thanks, Lee. Just find Lucy and Serena, please. I will. Serena. Oh, if she's around. She's here? Mm, yeah. Okay, I, I, I want to see her. Mm, not just yet. Where's Ted? Where's Al? Oh, they won't be joining us. Or anyone. Ever. <laughs> oh, but hey, look. I don't want to dwell on the negative. Huh? I just want you to be happy. You want me to be happy about being kidnapped? No! Happy to have your own personal circus. Hey, can you guess who the star is? No. Well, aren't you even going to try and guess? Just what do you want? What oh, is it? Please. Try to stay on point here. The question is, can you guess who's starring in the circus? All right. The answer... Is Lucy Coe. What's the matter? Don't you like puzzles? No, I don't. Oh, I do. That's why I'm such a big fan of uh, your old sweetheart, Kevin Collins. Now, there is a clever man. Such a flair for mayhem. 
I could have never come up with all those ingenious ways to kill people the way he did in general homicide. Oh. I worry that what I've come up with won't be entertaining enough. Um, you know, you really don't have to prove anything to me. I mean, you, you've come so far already. It proves you're very, very clever. Oh, that's very, very kind of you to say. But I've already gone to so much trouble. I really would like you to hear me out. Okay, okay, fine. All right. You see, my problem was that Kevin never killed a character based on Serena Ball. No, no. Oh, you're agreeing with no, me? No, tell me you didn't hurt her. Swear to me you didn't oh, hurt her. No, don't, don't, don't worry. She's, she's perfectly safe. No, I'm not going to harm her. Although, you might. <laughs> Listen to me. Do what you want with me, okay? Just please, please spare her. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no reason that this can't be interesting for the both of you. Do you remember the old story about the lady or the tiger? No. Oh, all right. Well, the short version is this. This guy is faced with two doors. Behind one is the most beautiful woman in the world who will satisfy his every desire, no questions asked. It's a pretty good deal, if you know what I mean. But behind the second is a hungry, man-eating tiger, <laughs> otherwise known as certain death. And the guy has to choose a door. What happens to the story? I can't remember. Isn't that awful? <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, well, here we are today, and I have borrowed liberally from that story. Uh, you, you, can, you can say that I stole the idea, if you want. I prefer to think of it as a homage of sorts. Okay, so you... you... You put Serena behind one of the doors? Yes! Yes! Very good. I knew that you were smart. Okay. What's behind the other door? What, what else? A hungry man-eating tiger. Uh, I, I, at least, I, I, I think that it eats people. I, uh, well, it hasn't eaten anything for three days. What is it? <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? Oh, okay, first, the doors! God! your breath. Hello? You're soundproof. I mean, come on, please give me a little more credit. Like, I wouldn't think of that. Okay, listen to me. You, you let her go, and I will give you anything, anything you want, okay? You cannot give me what I want, Lucy Co. No, 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 no. Now, I haven't even told you the best part here. There are two concrete slabs hanging from the ceiling of each room, rigged to fall at a certain time. Now, if you don't make a choice, <laughs> by the time this runs out, the slab falls, killing Serena. You choose the wrong door, your tiger food, and then once you're gone, who's going to save Serena? How do, I, how do I know you haven't heard her already? How do I know she's still alive? <sighs> that is an excellent point. Excellent point. Serena? Are you there? Um, uh, there's a walkie-talkie right next to you, sweetheart. Pick it up, push the button to talk. Who are you? I want to go home, Lucy. Where are you? Serena, it, 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 it's, it's okay. It's me. I'm, I'm right here. You listen to me. It's going to be okay. I am going to find you. You hear me? Now, you may also be thinking that uh, all you have to do is peek inside, see if there's a tiger, close the door again. Won't work. See, these doors have springs attached. And once they're open, they stay open all the way and won't close again. Now, you also may be thinking, well, hey, you know, I work out. Uh, maybe I can take this tiger. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can. But uh, if you get killed or maimed or whatever, you can't open the other door. Serena is a bloody pancake. All right. 
So, do you uh, accept this mission? As I have given it to you? You really are insane. Well, you know that most geniuses are perceived that way. Well, oh my. This looks like a lot of fun. I really wish that I could stay. But, uh, I have an appointment in Jasmine Island. Please, you really, you don't have to I don't do look, this. Look, you this don't. is out of my hands! Now, you may be thinking that there are some working telephones around here or roads nearby. There aren't. You can check if you like. It's your time. Spend it any way you want. Good luck. Hold it. Who are you? Hey, Garcia, Garcia, come on. Yeah, let him through. What are you doing? Lucy and Serena are missing. Yeah, I know. I got my people working on it. Well, what do you want me to do? Go home and wait for news. No, no, wait. I'm not going home. We're talking about my daughter for crying out loud. You don't have a great track record with me in regards to evidence at a crime scene. Oh, Garcia, come on. Let me just do something, all right? <sighs> okay, uh, help search the place. So, did Kevin tell you that Julie and, and Greg are in cahoots here? That's why we're here. Well, uh, what are we looking for? At this point, anything. Sir? Yeah. Copy of General Homicide. Check out the name inside. Marsha Cooper. Kevin thinks it's Julie's alias. Check this out. This receipt is signed by Marsha Cooper, and while I am no expert, The handwriting looks the same as Julie Devlin's. Wait a second. I don't get it. You think Julie now is, is, is Cooper's sister? And why the hell is she buying walkie-talkies? Lucy? Hey, it's okay. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm afraid. I know, sweet pea. I know. Listen, tell you the truth. So am I, but I, I need your help, okay? I, I want you to help me find you. Can you do that? I know, I know. Okay, listen, uh, did, tell me about the, the room you're in. Uh, are, are there any windows? No. Okay, look and see, is, is there a door? Yes. All right, tell me something. What, what does that door look like? It's metal with round things around the edge. Okay, okay, listen. Uh, this is what I want you to do. To help me find you, I need you to scream and, and yell and make as much noise as you can so I can hear you. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, I want you to get ready. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Okay. Okay, listen, buddy, that's enough, okay? Something else. Um, hey, I tell you what, now it's my turn, okay? I am gonna make as much noise as I can, and I want you to tell me if you can hear me, okay? Are you ready? Ready. Okay, here goes. Serena! Serena! Anything? Did you hear me? No. Okay, listen to me. I'm gonna try it again. Listen really hard, okay? Listen. Here, listen to me. I am gonna find you. I promise. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna find you. Oh God, you gotta help me here. You gotta help me. Victor. Oh my God. Who did this to you? To Julie and Greg. Oh, much as I'd like to uh, take the credit, 
This one belongs to Marsha. Oh, and uh, don't make any sudden moves, as Frankie now knows. She will shoot. Sit down on the floor. Crush your legs, and I want you to concentrate as hard as you can and send me an image of where you are. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Then get ready, because guess what? I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to sit here, my legs are crossed, and I'm going to concentrate very hard, and I'm going to pick up that image you are sending me. Okay? You ready? Close your eyes. Take some deep breaths and concentrate. a warehouse rental for seed and signed by Marsha Cooper. When's it dated? Last week. What does she want with a warehouse? Wait a minute. I know this warehouse is on the outside of town. There's nothing around it. I'll check it out. Once upon a time, on this very island, there lived a brilliant mathematician who had a miserable marriage and bratty twin sons. One day, the unhappy mathematician met a beautiful young woman who just uh, also happened to be his wife's best friend. And wouldn't you know it, the mathematician and the beautiful young woman liked each other so much that they started playing Park the Tugboat together. Who told you about this? All in good time. Tell them about the picnic. Only the highlights? All right, very well. Well, let's see. Time passed, and one spring day, the horny mathematician, playing the role of devoted husband and father, took his family for a picnic down at the water's edge. And who should come along and join them? Hmm? But the beautiful young woman and her baby boy. Ed, can you guess now who the father was? The mathematician. Correct! That's not true. I am not finished with my story, Professor Collins. Please! Now, it seems that the beautiful young woman told the deceiving mathematician's wife the truth about the affair and the baby. So the guilty mathematician became so outraged that he stabbed the beautiful young woman and pushed her off a cliff! You were that baby. The one that Marsha was holding when she was killed. Yeah. Is it beginning to make sense? Bro? This is crazy. It didn't happen like that. Oh, you didn't have an affair with my mother? I had an affair with Marsha Wyatt, but, but I am not your father. Well, that's not what it says on my birth certificate. That's impossible. I saw it, Victor. It names you as the father. When I got older, my aunt told me the whole story. Give me that. And I swore a long time ago that I would make you pay for killing my mother, Dad. When I met Marcia, she was already pregnant. What's the matter, Daddy? Aren't you proud of your little boy? I am not your father. You killed our mother, and you have to pay for that. Julie, why do you keep saying our mother? You're not related to Cooper. She's my sister. Oh, that's crazy. All right, now listen what? to me. Listen to me, both of you, please. No one in this room is responsible for Marcia Wyatt's death. It was Ryan Chamberlain, my real brother, who killed her. And he's dead. If it hadn't been for Monk, you would have drowned in the river yourself. Monk saved your life. Oh, gosh, thanks, bro. I'll make sure that you go quickly. Believe me, you don't understand. Sure I do. Ryan is responsible. But Ryan is dead. And if that's true, then I guess I'll just have to take revenge against good old Ryan's family and friends. time, sis. Why don't you do the honors? <laughs> 